What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be wrapped aligning this whole camper trailer. So the time has finally come to paint this thing. Um, so I'm gonna go black wrap the liner for the whole lot and I've got something special coming for the doors, but you guys will have to wait for that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that spear wheel off. I'm gonna take all these reflectors off um, and sand all the paint down. So I'm gonna just, just rough it up a bit. On these rusty spots, I'll wire brush it all but um, then, then use a bit of edge primer over the top as the uh, Raptor liner suggests. And then I'm going to scrape all the silicon out in the joins and put Sikaflex sealant in there. So that should hold up a little bit better than the sealant that they've used. And the other thing I want to do is cut this rack a little bit so I'll be able to put my 60 series roof rack on top so that'll fit there nicely. Um, I'll be doing this over a couple of days because it will take a fair bit and I've gotten a late start to this video today. So I will be taking the 10 off obviously and painting all that too. I'm hoping I've got enough Raptor liner. I've got four liters or four bottles of it, so that should be enough. So I'll obviously have to take off all the reflectors. I've got the clearance lights off. I have to take off the mud flaps as well. Once I get it back to the property I'm painting it on, I'll have to take the wheels off paint all in there as well. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'll take this tire off. Um, I'm gonna leave this off until it's painted. And then I'll probably, later on, I'll probably drill a hole through this thread and add a padlock there, just in case this everything, this was to ever rattle off or someone was to steal it. I don't think they'll steal it, but um, you never know. So I'll take this off and then we'll redo all the silicon in the joins. I did do some when I added that bar in, but I want to pick all the old stuff out where it's all rusty and want to brush it all. All right, so to clean all this silicon out, I'm going to use a grinder with a wire brush attachment. Now these are very dangerous. Um, the guard wouldn't fit with this one. But I did go for one that was sort of a flat, sort of more of a disc uh, shape because I wanted that to fit that guard. But my guard wraps around the bottom as well because I am using this corded grinder. It'll probably burn out my um, little battery operated one. Um, you definitely want to wear welding gloves with this because these uh, little wire pieces will fly out and hit you in the arms 100 miles an hour. So wear those. And if you can, wear a face shield. But I, I've just got these um, safety glasses and earmuffs. So yeah, that's definitely safety first, guys. My wheel does a really good job. It doesn't get up in the top corner there very well, but that's all right. So it's cleaning all that out. You can see all the stitch welds there. That's all the leftover silicon. So I'll have to get in all those little cracks and clean them out. Um, that bar there is obviously the new stuff that we're gonna put in, so we won't take that out. Um, so I've cleaned all that up nice and good. Now some of this paint here actually had tiny little bits of flakes, and when I've sanded it down, it's massive rust underneath. So just surface rust, so I'll have to clean all that up there. As you can see there, so clean all that up. This has all been stone chipped from being towed, you know, multiple places. So we'll have to um, sand all that back and then etch primer it. Right, so this old silicon just gets everywhere. As you can see, it's all down my arms, some of the clothes and that. But um, it's all out there now, so I've scraped it out. A little bit of water came out of the back there too, so it uh, just shows uh, how much moisture gets inside. So what I'm going to do now is air blow all this down um, and then I'll wipe it down with some um, this wax and grease remover. And then I've got a little bit of this seam sealer uh, Sikaflex stuff that will dry it up in the tube but I've gotten it to work. So we'll wax some of that in there too. Um, and then all I'm going to do on these parts is just wax and grease remove and use an etch primer and then I'll be right for wrap the liner. Now I'm gonna do all this to the back, but I won't show you guys that, because this takes forever. And then all I have to do is just scotch bright all the edges on the sides, just to scuff up the paint so the wrap liner will stick.
done all that. The seam seal to pull up in there. It's pretty good. It's best as I could get it. Um, it looks terrible at the moment, I will admit that because the um, just the primer and the light, I just hate the way it looks. But the raptor liner should be much better on there. Um, had a heap of surface rust around here, so I fixed all that too. So I had to white brush everything as so I get down in there. The only part I couldn't get into is that corner. But if it ever peels, I can get a rattle can and just touch it up with the Raptor liner. Um, so the likes of the wiring, I'm just going to paint over all that and then just turps it later and get it all off um, and re-split tube it. And these I'll just tape up and probably replace. Um, and those those lights there, I'll probably just um, tape them up anyway because I have had overspray. That was from the previous owner. So now I think we'll take off these mud flaps and those little reflectors. And then the whole thing can get a light, sorry, scrub back just with a um, scour pad. And the likes of these, I'm going to paint all these the same colour as the doors so it'll all stand out nicely. Alright, so this side's all done. It's all sanded and etch primed, so that looks really good. Now, I did have a lot of stone chips, and as I said, I didn't know there was this much surface rust on the trailer, so I had to sand a lot of it down. Now, um, there is some imperfections in the paint and the metal, so I'm hoping that the Raptor liner smoothens that out and sort of self levels. Um, but I will have to find out. So the next step I want to do, I've got some 80 grit paper and a block So I'm just going to block down this door uh, Probably block down here and maybe down the bottoms there just the, the parts that have still got the hammer tone on them um, and I'll have to do each side Alright, so that's all sanded down roughly, so I did a bit of a cross pattern. Um, on these parts where I've got bare metal, I will be spraying that etch primer on there. Um, and then I will be hitting this over the top with uh, a bit of a jacks pad. Alrighty guys, it's actually the next day here. Um, I've got the compressor set up and I've had to put in one of these little regulators in the line. So this has to be as far away as possible from that compressor to catch any moisture. So I've put it a fair way so it actually, it won't um, get in way when we're painting. But yeah, it, it's got a mount. I thought it was supposed to go on the compressor, but apparently not. So anyway, that's all plumbed up and it's set to 50 PSI. So that's roughly about what Raptor calls for. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna wash this camper trailer down. Just gonna use a bit of detergent in a bucket, um, get all the dirt and that off it. And then we'll be able to um, wet sand it all down and we'll throw some paint. finishes off so sand all that off both sides everywhere's been sanded um, the primer part's been scuffed up as well 
Now the draw bar, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, has got a lot of stone chips in that, so I'm just that's sort of an experiment. I don't mind touching that back up if I ever have to. The roof there too. All that's been done. So now I've got to acetone it all, or wax and grease remove it. Pull the wheels off. Alright, so now I've got that all taped up. Um, I just sort of rushed through that. It took actually about two hours as well. So this stuff does take time and the more time you put in and prep work, the better the finish will be. So I've got all these drop sheets taped up. So what I'm going to do is paint all the edges in the Raptor and then fold it down and paint the door. So I've got all this taped up so nothing oversprays. So I'm just going to wipe this down with a bit of wax and grease remover on the edges and the door and then we'll shoot some colour. Alright guys, time to throw some paint. I'm very excited. Now as a lot of you guys commented, I'm actually painting the door the same colour as the 60. So there we go, that looks awesome in there. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out because I've never sprayed, a, sprayed anything before, um, only with rattle cans. So uh, I think we're going to paint all the edges first and then we'll throw some on the doors. Now I'm going to paint this uh, latch as well, just because I'm sick of lo looking at the chrome and they rust and that. So I'm going to paint those. Now make sure you've got a uh, respirator and gloves and I'm no professional at this, I'm just sort of learning as we go. So now with my ratio and this I mixed um, the whole bottle of hardener and then 50ml of uh, June Beige. Alright there guys, so there's uh, the paint on there. Now I did get a little bit thick up the top there. Um, and on the bottle it said that one bottle would be enough to do two coats, but as you can see it is not enough. So I've done both sides and on the edges there, but yeah, one bottle's not enough. So I can't get it locally, so I'm gonna have to order it. So yeah, once this is dry, I'll have to tape all the doors up and I'll paint everything else black and then I'll be able to roll uh, this wrap the liner on later instead of spraying it because it's just a little bit easier.
guys, so that turned out absolutely amazing. That went down really well, that paint. I'm really happy with how that applies. I definitely suggest wrap the liner. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do, while this is still a bit tacky, I'm gonna remove all this tape and everything, and then I'll have to put this thing in the shed to dry. Um, this thing will have to wait a couple of days until we'll be able to put it all back together. Um, now, just off camera, I did also cut these ends off that were going up like a ladder rack because I've got my other roof rack that's gonna go on there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm painting that Raptor liner as well yet, but we'll have to see. But yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a couple of days when this thing's dry, and we'll put it all back together. So here's a roof rack off my 60 series. So I've pulled the mounting feet off, the, uh, the gutter mount feet. So I've pulled all them off. Um, the rack is a tad rusty, but it should be all right because the tent should cover that, so it shouldn't get too wet. Um, so we're just gonna put that on the roof here. So as you can see, cut off those brackets up there. So that should mount flat on the roof. Um, and then we'll be able to put the tent on top. There's the rack on there, I just quickly threw it on. Uh, it looks much nicer on here. So it's all flat. So what I'm gonna do is put some U-bolts around here and clamp that. So I'll put one on each of these. So there'll be four on each side, so that'll be enough. And then we'll be able to clamp the rooftop tent to this. And that gives us an extra little carrying barrier up there. So we'll be able to chuck some extra cargo on that. And that antenna, I'm gonna to have to figure something out there. I'll have to take it off and put it through the grid, one of these grid holes. And I'm also, once when I do the doors, I'm gonna, I've got one more bottle of Raptor, so I'm gonna do underneath. And I've just got to touch up the little spot here. It's got a little bit of stuff and I missed part here next to the wiring so I have to touch that up but that's all right other than that it's come out really good It's actually day four here of painting this trailer, so I took a day off for New Year's, but um, we'll jump straight back into it. So yesterday I got the rack bolted on with the new bolts on there. Um, I capped these end caps, I put a couple of caps in the bottom, on the front there, and as you can see we do have the rooftop tent back on. Now I have moved that slightly back a little bit further than usual, uh, where we had it at the first time, just to allow for um, a bit more extra weight distribution on the wheels. And also I've added longer bolts here, so they now go down through the rack and onto the original rack itself. Um, now I was very lucky this morning to find uh, about an hour and a half away another tinnable one litre Raptor liner. So I called around everywhere and no one knew when they would have any more stock in, so luckily this place had one more litre. So I went and picked that up this morning. So what I'm going to do here first is going to roll on the doors, so I'll finish those up and then I'll clean all that out and we'll use the last bottle of the black to do all underneath and I'll touch up a couple of little spots that I couldn't spray. But this thing is looking great, guys. It's been curing for the last three days. It looks amazing. Really happy with how it's turned out.
are all painted and done. That turned out absolutely amazing. One more bottle did the trick, so it's all covered now. Now it's gotta wait three days to dry and then I'll be able to tow this thing home. Yeah, this camper trailer is turning out really good. It's almost finished. This did take about four days to paint this whole thing. So I've just run out of time today to do underneath and touch up those other areas, but I'll be able to do that in the future. So stay tuned for that, guys. If you wanna help support the channel, jump over and check out the merchandise at teespring.com. Link is in the description. So you can help support the channel by buying a sticker or a t-shirt or anything like that. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Jump over to Instagram for an inside scoop before YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Smash that subscribe button notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. I'll see you in the next one.